Hi, I'm Joan Forgione. I'm the designer behind Paper Moon Knits. And today I'm here to talk about a new knit along that I'm doing in collaboration with Lovecrafts. It's called the Knots and Dots Pullover. And I'm really excited to be working with Lovecrafts. If you're not familiar with Lovecrafts, they are a company that sells yarn and patterns and accessories and needles, um, many different brands, um, many different designers. So I'm really privileged to have been asked to do this sweater with, for them. Um, again, this is the Knots and Dots pullover. It is a pullover with two sleeve options, long sleeve and three quarter sleeve, and has some interesting construction techniques, which are gonna be part of the knit along. The knit along is going to include not only the pattern, but video support that I will be doing on this YouTube channel, which is Paper Moon Knits. Um, so I wanna talk to you today a little about the construction because it's unique. So I'm just gonna drag this a little bit closer so you can see um, some of the um, details of the sweater. So the sweater actually begins with this cable tab. It's a shoulder tab and it's cable. And I don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna tilt it so that you can see. So a little bit of cable is just worked. And then once it's to about here, the stitches are placed on hold. So we'll make two of those for each of the two shoulders. And then stitches are picked up along the sides of the cable tab in the front, here and here. And then we'll work back and forth until we get to about here and then we'll join and work down to the armholes. You can also see there is a broken rib pattern on the front of the sweater. It's just knits and pearls, it's very simple. Then the back is worked in the same way. So stitches are picked up along the sides of the cable panel tab and then joined and then worked down to the armholes. Once that's done, then we're just working in the round all the way, let me back this up, all the way to the bottom edge, which is down here. I can't even think you can see it out of the picture. Um, which is also a broken rib pattern. The real fun of the sweater starts with the sleeves. Now you can see maybe that the sleeves are set in, they appear to be set in, but they are not sewn in. So the way we we're working the sleeves, and again, I'm gonna pull this closer, is that we're gonna pick up at the underarm all the way to where those stitches were held. We're gonna put those held stitches back on the needle. We're gonna pick up along the other side of the sleeve. And then we're gonna work back and forth with short rows to shape this sleeve. Once we finish the short rows, then we're gonna be ready to join to work in the round. And the sleeves are just gonna be finished with this cable panel that runs all the way down the sleeve either long or three quarters and are again finished with this broken cable, broken rib, sorry, um, pattern. Um, the sweater is finished with an applied eye cord finish. So it's a really simple treatment to um, pick up your stitches and work a little finished edge without it being too fussy because the sweater does have lots of details. I, I really see this sweater as a three quarter season sweater. Um, so I think you can wear it. For me, I live on Long Island and this is a perfect sweater to wear this time of year. Um, it's great for the spring. And I feel like in a, on a cool night in the summer, you can also um, wear this sweater, throw over a dress or a pair of jeans. You could dress it up, you could put it under a jacket. It's great, I love it. Um, so let me tell you a little bit about uh, some of the other details. This was knit with um, Lovecraft's own yarn. It's called Paintbox, Paintbox Yarns Cotton DK. It comes in 64 colors. So you are going to have a hard time choosing, but there is something for everybody. Um, I use Kingfisher Blue for this, but I have some other colors that I really want to show you um, just to give you some sense of the colors. They're really vibrant. Um, it's 100% cotton. 
Um, this is the color I used. It's called Kingfisher Blue. Um, I liked the sweater, this color, because I designed, I started designing this in the late spring, early summer, and it just really spoke to me. I'm not usually a blue person, but it was so bright and cheerful. I loved it. So again, the sample is Kingfisher Blue. There are other colors though, again, 64 colors, and I just picked up some that I really wanted to show you. So um, this is washed teal, which I think they actually, it's, I'm a real fan of green, um, but it's a blue kind of green. Another blue kind of green too, so you can see where I'm headed here. It's called marine blue, though I feel like it has a lot of green in it. These are really kind of true to the real colors. I have vanilla cream, which is a nice neutral. I'm a neutral person, typically, but I love color. And I have dusty pink. And I think I dropped one to uh, lime green, which is probably around here somewhere, but uh, I don't think I can find it right now. Okay, so just a really bright, but again, 64 colors. It's um, 137 meters, uh, 137 yards, 125 meters. Uh, comes in a 50 gram balls. Um, you'll need seven to knit the smallest size, um, all the way up to 14 balls to knit the largest size. But it's a really affordable yarn. It's $3.25. Um, US dollars, um, which means the whole entire sweater in the smallest size, three quarter uh, sleeves would be $22.75. And the largest size with the long sleeve sweaters would be 14 balls, and that would cost you $45.50. So it's really an affordable uh, project to make. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I want to tell you is about needles. You only need a US six, which is a four millimeter needle um, to knit the entire sweater. It's all done on the four millimeter needles. You do need various lengths of needles, obviously, because it is knit circularly and there are bigger circumferences. So the body is one circumference, the sleeves are another circumference. And of course you can do flat knitting on circular needles. You can use whatever method of circular, of small circumference circular knitting you want. You can use, I use magic loop because that's my preferred method. You can use uh, double point needles. You can use different lengths of needles. You can use two circular needles. Whatever floats your boat, whatever makes you happy is what you can use. Um, I'll be demonstrating some of the techniques using magic loop. So if you're not familiar with that, um, you can pop that into YouTube and, and see what that's all about. Um, as part of the knit along, I'm going to be uploading a series of videos um, and it's video support that's going to be available to you um, in the pattern. You'll get pattern updates with the new videos and I will be releasing them on YouTube, which is where you're watching me now. And I'm also going to be trying to upload some snippets into Instagram reels. So you can, if you follow me at Paper Moon Knits on Instagram, you'll know when I'm coming up with new videos and you can hop on over to YouTube and watch the entire thing. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about some of the videos that we're going to be, um, that I'm going to be doing to support you while you're knitting the sweater. So we're gonna be talking about long tail cast on, but in a little bit different way. So most people know long tail cast on, but um, a lot of people don't know that you can actually um, make long tail cast on look like knits and purls on the right side of your work. So when you're doing long tail cast on, you're typically casting on on the wrong side of your work, you're turning the work and you're working back. If you do long tail cast on like you were taught to do it, that whole first right side row is going to look like pearls. So I'm going to teach you how to do it kind of in a backwards way and also you can use it so you can do knits and pearls which is going to be important when you cast on for the cable just so it's a clean finish. I'm going to be also doing videos on picking up stitches evenly, um, how I do it, 
um, which you um, may know or not know, but it's a really good method of making sure that you have the right amount of stitches in the right area and also picking up along a line of stitches, especially when you're picking up along the row side instead of the stitch side. I'm gonna be talking about uh, how to cable without a cable needle, how to um, do, uh, sorry, I'm <laughs> losing my train of thought. I'm gonna talk about how to do an applied I cord finish. I'm going to talk about short rows. There'll be a video on German short rows, which I used in this sweater construction. And we're gonna be talking about how to do short row sleeve cap shaping and marker placement and how to really um, do this in a way that you're really gonna love. Uh, most people love set in sleeves. They look good on almost everybody set in sleeves. My, the thing that people don't like about set in sleeves is sewing them in. This method of doing short row sleeve cap shaping will um, give you a way that you can get the uh, set in sleeve feel without sewing anything. So I'll be doing that. Um, and then the details of the knit along. So again, the knit along is going to take place from October 27th to December 31st. You can go right now and purchase a preview of the pattern on Lovecrafts from the 11th, which is today, until the 27th, the pattern is going to be offered at a 25% discount. So if you pick it up before the knit along starts, you'll get 25% off. And then once we start, it'll go back, it'll go back to its regular price. Um, you can um, pick out your colors, swatch, um, all that information is given to you in the preview. There's also a schematic so you'll know what size to knit. The, the pattern is given in, written in nine sizes. Um, so you'll find a size that works for you. If you have any questions, again, I'm on Instagram at Paper Moon Knits. You can, you can tag me there. You can ask me a question there. Uh, you can also join my newsletter subscriber list. If you go to Instagram, uh, there's a link in the profile is also down below in the notes here, which I will also put um, links to the pat purchasing the pattern, purchasing the yarn, um, how to subscribe to my newsletter. Why would you want to subscribe to my newsletter is I give pattern discounts um, to patterns that I release and the subscriber discounts are a little bit better than the ordinary discounts and they last for a little bit longer. So you might want to do that. And um, any other questions that you have, you can leave in the link in, in the comments below, or you can, um, you can message me on Instagram, again, at Paper Moon Knits. We're calling this, the hashtag for this is knots and dots. So the end is spelled out. So knots and dots, K-A-L. Please uh, let me know what you think. And I'd love to have you join me and Lovecrafts for this great experience. So hope to see you in the middle long. Thanks for listening. Bye.